Hi I'm Steve and welcome to the channel if you're new to the channel this is the Honda Hornet Cafe Racer build if you've been here before welcome back 85% of people uh, watching without subscribing please press the subscribe button like subscribe it helps the channel and to get the subscriber count up I'm trying to get up to 1500 subscribers so please press that doesn't cost anything so at the end of the last video we finished with the paint problem I have started wire brushing and cleaning but that's going to take a couple of days and then I'll be a uh, start repainting with some new paint which is ordered we've still got loads to do and we can make some progress this time um, on the pole for the engine casing color it's been neck and neck one up one down whether to be painted black to match the engine or whether it'll be polished it keeps going like that as of today as i'm recording it's 52 percent paint them black 48 percent polish them but if you haven't voted go on cast your vote we'll see how it all turns out right so let's get on with some work so ignore the unpainted engine behind me i'm going to put the wheel bearings in got new bearings and seals the wheels are shot blasted so I've got to say the people who did the shot blasting powder coating Romax if you're in the northeast Romax up at Stockton were brilliant really helpful um, good price and all the prep I did of putting the bolts in and all of that he said you needn't bother they do all that and that's included in the price so things like this bearing face uh, he did what he called shimming which was a bit of um, plastic or something so it doesn't get that in masked all this sort of thing off made sure it didn't get too much in there see where that's masked I got him to leave that on so he masked the bolts after shot blasting um, the wheels um, you can see where the discs go haven't been done stuff like that really really helpful I'll put a link to their address in my in the description of the video um, so new bearings first thing to do is um, just a visual check it's not that bearing see visual check uh, new bearings then first thing to do is a visual check that they're the same um, you check the numbers but you can also check just just look just to see the same um, so we need the two bearings and the seals which all came from eBay specifically this bike for less than the price of one bearing from the um, Honda part supplier and they are NTN bearings as well so they're the same make bearings right so normally you would pack your bearing up with grease but these are sealed bearings so none of that to do so what we'll do is I will put a little bit of grease inside here put a recent piece of rubber down here so it's not banging on the workbench try and put um, the number to the outside although these are numbered both sides so it doesn't matter put your bearing in like that and then the best thing to tap it in with is an old bearing so it's worth keeping them if you haven't kept the old bearings or the old bearings shot what you would maybe do is try and find a socket that was good gas good guess that's about the right size and then you can tap it in with that um, old bearing and then just you'll feel it go try and hit it nice and straight that's the only bit there it's just going to start sticking so we need to get it in a little bit further this is where a socket would actually be quite good so that is in check it on the other side because you should be able to see through yeah and that is down do the bearing on the other side 
I've written left hand in there but if you remember I marked up that this was the right hand side bearing and I took a photograph and what I can remember is that as it turned out that the writing was on the right you can actually if you look at your wheels because you know which way the back wheel goes you can actually see the which way around the air so just in case for when we do the discs these uh, front wheel bearings are the same size both bearings are the same size so a bit of grease make sure there's no muck in there the other thing is to uh, give your wheels a good shake just to make sure there's no um, shot blasting debris inside you'll hear it rattling about like sand so the other thing to remember is or not to not to forget is your wheel spacer which goes between the two bearings um, worth checking the ends for wear this looks pretty good make sure it's clean and that goes in there you can see that sits just about right and then this one same thing tap it in with an old bearing that's got that nice So obviously you'll start to just knock your bearing out you'll knock that bearing out the other side so that's the bearings in it's as simple as that new seals in we'll put them in in a minute um, brake discs on so this is the left hand side left hand side And this is left hand side brake disc. Now I'm only going to put these brake discs on temporarily. I'll put all the bolts in but I'm not going to lock tight them up and everything because I want to clean out clean the middles of these but just so that when the wheel tires go on the wheels get balanced that I know where they are they'll be balanced properly with the discs on. Valve stem or when it goes back in is there and my mark is there so that goes on like that I'll leave the dust seals out just so they don't get damaged while they're fitting the tyres. Don't see why they would. And just to say again, because I know somebody will mention it, those discs are coming back off. That's why they haven't been talked up. The bolts haven't been talked up and the bolts haven't been locked tight. They are coming back off for cleaning, but I want to have them on when the wheels get balanced. They have got a new tyre which matches. The front was a, a mismatch. It was a Continental and it was worn out but the back is virtually and you can see the hair on it virtually brand new um, I'm going to clean it and I was going to put a more race orientated tyre on but buying a back tyre for the sake of it it's a budget bill I just couldn't do it so I've bought the matching front tyre I'll give the back tyre a good scrub and try and get some black back into it I got the front tyre £65 and there was no point in spending 200 quid on a set of tyres. So 
that's that one ready to go again brake discs coming back off to be cleaned uh, possibly paint the middle and and then the bolts will be torqued properly with some um, Loctite on I'm not going to put the seals in again I'll wait till I'll wait till the uh, they've fitted the tires it's not going to affect the balancing on this wheel you fitted the left hand side bearing first then the spacer tube then the right hand side the left hand side went up to a seat the right hand side just goes up to the spacer tube so that's done um, and they're ready to go I'll just do the cush drive This video is going to run a bit long so I'm going to split it as I have done and put the second part up on Sunday. Can you let me know whether you prefer to run a one long video on a Wednesday or the two shorter videos uh, Wednesday and Sunday. But I'm going to split this one so I will see you Sunday.